Radio.com show. My name is Andrew Krauss. I'm the co-founder. Today, what we're going to do is give you confidence. For those of you that have never contacted a company, we're going to give you the confidence to go actually contact a few. You don't have to have an idea. You don't have to contact companies for your idea. You're going to use the, the approach that I'm going to show you right here. And it's kind of homework. And I want you guys to reply in the comments down below as to how it went. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and monitor this, not forever, not for the next 10 years, but for the next, for the next couple weeks, I'm going to go ahead and monitor the comments. I want to see how you guys did. So a lot of people are really afraid of, of contacting companies, and by doing what I'm going to show you here, is, is, it's going to take that fear away when you realize that you can contact companies and you can submit ideas. So I'm going to show you how to just get a phone number for a couple companies, and call them and and ask them if you can submit an idea, okay? And just having done it. So if they say no, that's fine. If they say yes, but oh, I don't know who to put you with, whatever. Just that you know that you contacted a company and you took away some of that fear that you actually did it. You called a company. It wasn't scary. It was doable. And that's what we're going to try to do today. Okay, so I'm going to shrink my video down here. So in order, I want to give you some criteria here for what you're trying to do. You're just trying to find a company. So it doesn't have, I would recommend not doing it in an area that you're working in just so that you're not fearful of messing something up. So I just went on target.com here, and I'm going to use an example I use often. I'm going to type in kitchen cutting board. Okay. So what am I doing here? I'm just looking for any random company to call. But a company that's actually in a major retailer you want to be in. So I typed in kitchen cutting board into Target. And you can see here um, this company, it's this Farberware, right? And then this company selling these, that's Farberware. This company is Ar Architect. Uh, and then you see some more, Chicago Cutlery, Architect, Architect. So I'm not telling you to contact these companies, guys. You need to do this yourself. Find a random company because if all of you are calling the same company, that's not going to work well. They'll be like, what's going on here? Um, so uh, so we got the name of the company. It's right here. This one, the name of the company is Farberware, and this one is Architect. So let's do Architect first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the name of that company. I'm going to open up a new tab in my browser. Not hard to do, right? And I'm going to search. Architect. Now, it's a kitchen product, right? So um, I'm going to type architect kitchen products because it's a, it's a cutting board. So I'm going to type, because what we're looking for is the company website. Okay. So right here, we found them real easy. I didn't just type in architect because I did that before and you get all these architects, right? That's doing buildings and things. But I type in architect spa, space kitchen space products. And it's right there, architect products. And you know it's the company because you can tell by looking at their their home page, you know, is okay, it's kitchen products. All right. What I like to do is I like to just jump right down to the bottom, look for a contact us button. Uh, I'm going to do that. I found a button. Oh, damn. Okay, just a form. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's see if we can find a number here. Uh, I'm going to click on this little phone symbol, and guess what? It takes us to the same page. So they're not giving us a phone number, are they? Uh, let's see. So all their brands. They have Architect, EcoSmart, Homegrown Gourmet Products, Madeira, Madeira, and TSP. Let's click on TSP. Um, didn't take us to another website. Has all their products. Really, really helpful. But still don't have a – click on Contact Us again. Okay, just phone number. Now, I could Google for this. I could type in Architect, Corporate Website. I did that a minute ago. It didn't work. But you could dig up the, 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 a phone number for this company. You could also drop them an email through this form and say, you know, I, I'm looking to submit. I'm an independent product developer. I'm looking to submit a product to your company. Who would be the right person to contact? You could put your, your first name, last name, email, and your message in there and send it to them. Okay? Or you could Google a little bit more, and you could find their, their corporate website and call their corporate number. So let's do this again with a company I'm more familiar with, Farberware. So again, I'm going to copy the name of that company, and I'm going to paste it in here. Let's type in, let's do it again, Farberware Kitchen Products. Okay. 
and let's see, Farberware, I see FarberwareCookware.com. These other ones were like Walmart and stuff. Let's see where this takes us. That was awfully slow. Uh, buh, 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 buh. This is more of an ordering website. Let's go down to the bottom. Contact us. Cookware, recipes, about us. Sometimes videos. Now, you know, I came across another Farberware site when I searched this before. Let's take a look. Instead of doing Farberware Kitchen products, you see, this is a perfect example of the same thing doesn't work all the time. Farberware is a very big company, so we're just going to search, search Farberware. That, that's much better. I kind of did this on purpose, guys. But um, And I just see Farberware.com. You can also just type the company name .com. That's quite often what it is. So I went to their website. And, oh, okay. And it's showing you know all their different products here. You can click on and get more info. But right big as heck, right up there is just contact. Oh, okay. If you have any questions about any of our products, please call these corresponding numbers below. Cookware, cutlery. they got different phone numbers. They're very customer-oriented. Now, these are customer numbers. You don't want you don't want to talk to these folks, but that's okay. They, you want to talk to them to help you. Contact one of these numbers, and then say, you know, I'd like to get a hold of your marketing manager for your flatware. Say I'm not I'm not a customer. I'd like your corporate number. You could just say, you know, because the people that pick up these lines, if they're just doing flatware, and they're like they're used to helping customers. So say, you know, I'm not a customer. I'm a vendor, and I'd like your corporate number. You could say that. Um, and they'll probably give it to you. They'll give you the corporate number. They don't have it right here. You could probably dig around and maybe find it some other way um, on the Internet as well. But anyway, so I don't want people to say, well, I can't get phone numbers, so I just want to give you a basic, basic overview. And if you do this with a couple companies on a website like Target, don't do cutting boards. Do something else. Do anything. Um, and you can't find a number, just look at another company. Like if both these two didn't produce a number, you could do Chicago Cutlery and do the same thing. Because the main goal here is for this video is not showing you how to, how to search uh, for companies and phone numbers. The main goal is I want you to call these companies and basically say, are you open to product submissions? And say, can I submit a product to you? That's what I want you to do. I want you to call these companies and say, I'm a product developer. I develop and license new products. And um, can I submit a product to your company? What would be the approach? What would be, who should I call? Who should I talk to? And they may not know. And if they don't, say, well, you know, how about uh, your marketing manager handles your flatware or they handles your cutting boards or something like that? So I'm not telling you to call these two companies. I'm telling you to call a company, any company, and realize they're not going to say, hey, take a hike, buddy. You know, they're not going to say that. They're, they, but I'm not going to tell you that all your calls are going to be like, oh, they told me exactly what to do. But you're going to realize, like, it's, it wasn't scary. I can keep calling companies, keep trying to figure out different ways to get in, and the gatekeeper isn't going to tell me to take a hike in most cases. All right, so that's the reason why I want you to do this. So go ahead and do that. Tell me how it went in the comments down below. Can't go back and forth a million times, but for a couple weeks, I will take a look at that, and I will respond to what some people say about what their experience was, and it should be fun. So um, take care. Keep inventing. We'll catch up with you next time. See ya. Bye. Oh,